have to have a smartphone to use Google Voice, but there are advantages if you do. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt from CNET, showing you how to use Google Voice from your mobile phone. If you use Google Voice to handle your voicemail messages, there are certain advantages to viewing Google Voice from your smartphone. If you've got an iPhone, Palm Web OS, Nokia, Windows Mobile Phone, or other internet-capable phone, Google has created an optimized web page for you. First, open the browser, go to m.google.com slash voice, and sign in with your Google account login and password. You'll need to select your mobile number associated with the phone from a list of numbers you may have already set up. If you don't see your number there in the list, select the bottommost option to add the number from the main Google Voice website. Once you've got the login squared away, you'll see an inbox and a drop-down menu that takes you to folders to manage your voicemail messages. Use the dial pad to make texts and calls. Tap the icon of a pen and pad to compose a text. Select the people icon to access your Google contact list and press the icon of a wrench to manage your Google Voice account. Google Voice is even easier to use on an Android or Blackberry phone where there's a dedicated app to help you out. To download Voice for Android, open the Market app on the phone and search for Voice. On Blackberry, go to m.google.com slash voice to download the app. In addition to providing a fast way to access your Google Voice inbox, the Android and Blackberry apps link into your phone's address book. Either method you use gives you full reign of your Google Voice account and services right from your mobile phone. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt, happy calling. Hey, I'm Tom Merritt, host of CNET's Top 5. You know, there are many more than five reasons why you might want to watch Top 5. You can get a load of the best gadgets out there, the most popular ones, the worst downloads, top TV robots, and there's always a chance you could win fabulous prizes. Check out CNET Top 5 at CNET.com slash Top 5.